hello guys so welcome back to my channel my name is Vishal in this video let's have a look on the checker texture of the blender software which falls in the procedural texturing category so right now I've got a simple scene where I've got uh, three different models and a plane here so I'll be selecting the shading mode okay and then I'll be assigning the material to all of them so I'm going to select all those objects and just click on the new button which gives me a new principal DSDF shade and then when I, assign, when I generally change, it looks uh, that uh, the shader assigned only to the last object, which is the active object here, uh, last object in the selection. Okay. So uh, active objects, uh, the outline looks slightly lighter color in comparison with the other selected objects. So now I'm going to press uh, control L and then choose link materials, which will bring the materials to all that selected objects. Now, once that is done, I press uh, shift A and then go to the texture and then choose the checker texture. So checker texture is a very simple texture we have here. Uh, uh, in this we got uh, the color output and the factor output. So the color output uh, is basically used to connect the output of the checker texture to any color input like base color in this case or uh, if I generally go with a uh, specular color tint or maybe if I go to the uh, tint of the coat. So wherever you see the color swatch there you can connect the color output uh, while the values what you are seeing here there I'm going to connect the factor. So right, right now I just uh, take the color and connect it to the base color by which you should be able to see the checker connected to the um, principal BSDF shader there. So once that is done you should be able to see there is a vector input which is basically an input where you can able to control how this texture should be projected onto the object either by the camera angle or the UV uh, space or the object space etc. Uh, which we'll be discussing uh, in another video by connecting a node to it. However, we got uh, the color 1 and color 2 and the scale attributes uh, where you could able to change the color just by clicking and then giving them nice color there. So I took the color 1 and then gave a blue color and then I can just go and then give a red color uh, to the second color input by which you could see a checker pattern on the model. So we have the scale value uh, 1, 2 and then 20 as you could see as I'm keeping on increasing the value the checker scale is getting smaller by smaller and smaller so it, it controls the size of the checker pattern. So the checker pattern is uh, basically used for procedural texturing wherever you feel that you need to achieve this kind of pattern then go ahead uh, with uh, this pattern and also we use this kind of textures uh, uh, for you know uh, checking the UV layout uh, UV when we check the UV of the model we see the stretches and all that stuff so their checker is very commonly used to texture okay so this is what we have uh, for the checker texture I hope you like the video if you got any questions let me know in the comment section and uh, please subscribe my channel thank you very much